If you think you know drama, then you certainly haven't been following the Senzo Mayua murder case. Now, allegedly, as the drama unfolds in the Senzo Mayua's case, a prominent KwaZulu Natal Sangoma has now confessed of having done some rituals to the alleged killers of the Senzo Mayua. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News in Zansi. Now, if you're new to the channel, you know you love the stories, go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. Now, guys, as the drama unfolds in the Senzo Mayua case, a prominent KwaZulu Natal Sangoma has allegedly confessed of having done some rituals to the alleged killers of Senzo Mayua. Now, this 69-year-old Sangoma confessed that he gave the alleged killers muti before and after the murder. Now, speaking to the city press, the prominent KwaZulu Natal native doctor was now fearing for his life after police came to ransack his shrine earlier this year. Now, this letter says that he was interrogated by the police and told them that he knew what he knew in regards of the matter beforehand. The Sangoma told the city press that back, in, back then, in 2014, he was approached by three men who wanted Muti for protection against their business rivals. Now, this charismatic Sangoma allegedly gave the three men Intelezo. Now, the Intelezo was used for bathing rituals. The three accused paid a hefty 50,000 rand for the Sangoma's services. However, as if that's not enough, a few days after the trio came back for cleansing rituals. According to the Sangoma, the cleansing ritual was done after the trio admitted of having killed someone. Now, this Sangoma also allegedly indicated that the Intelezo is used to protect warriors in battle and is believed to protect people from rounds of ammunition. The 69-year-old Sangoma says he got the shock of his life when he found out that one of the arrested men was actually his Intelezo client in 2014. The Sangoma and the alleged killer apparently met at a police station when he was called in for questioning. This year, the police provided what looks like a breakthrough to Senzo's case after six year, after a six-year chase. Senzo Mayua was shot dead whilst he was at his then-girlfriend Kelly Kumalo's place. A number of theories have been brought up in regards to his death. The police nabbed five suspects this year, and one of the suspects confessed that he was the one who pulled the trigger, allegedly. Now, despite him confessing, the mastermind of the shooting is still yet unknown, and a number of names have been pinned to the case, including his then girlfriend, Kelly Kumalo. Namzansi, let me know what you think of this new upbringing of the case, because there's a lot of theories to this case. Now there's a Sangoma in the mix. Let me know what your thoughts are on the comment section below. But for now, you know I will bring you the updates hard, just the way you like them.